Welcome back to the channel, Cook It With Manual Focus, and today we're going to be making an absolutely delicious pulled pork recipe. And I know you see on the side, now that's an absolutely delicious Carolina vinegar-based barbecue sauce. Now with any meat that we're going to throw on the smoker on that pellet grill, we want to make sure that we are trimming that meat so we don't have any excess. And when I say excess, we want to trim any excess fat any excess meat that will make this cook unevenly or may even possibly burn or then take it a step further may not render down during the cooking process so trim any excess off of any meat that you're going to be smoking and that's what i'm doing right here now this cross section of the balsam butt has a bunch of fat in it now i'm going to trim this fat off and again, this is the reason for this is because when you start pulling that pork, you don't have to worry about that fat. Or if your guests or yourself are taking a bite out of it, you're not tasting a bunch of fat. So we're going to trim all that fat off and you're going to see it in a second right there. That's a bunch of fat, not much meat. So just trim that fat off that cross section there. Now we're going in with our binder. I'm using olive oil, you can definitely use mustard or whatever binder that you're used to, but we just wanna make sure that we are we got this bad boy ready for the seasoning that we're gonna put on there. So the binder is gonna be a key ingredient to hold your seasoning so you can create that absolutely delicious bark that you're looking for. Now we're going in with the barbecue rub. Now I kinda of came up with a concoction myself, you know, with some smoked paprika, got some onion powder, garlic powder, some pepper, some salt, some chili powder, and some other ingredients that was absolutely delicious. But you want to make sure that when you're seasoning this balsam butt, that this balsam butt is seasoned generously because this is a big piece of meat. And again, we're trying to form a bark first, and then we want flavor, right? So flavor is always key. But you want to make sure that you got an absolutely, you know, delicious and good looking bark. In order to make that bark, seasoning and then spritzing will create a bark. And you can also mop it too, but you want to keep this meat moist. Now we're going to go in with a probe thermometer because we're going to be smoking this bad boy for a while at 300 degrees. And we want to make sure that it's at 205, right? Now I'm using the Pit Boss Apple Blend pellets in this recipe. Now we're gonna go to that Carolina vinegar style barbecue sauce. So we're going in with a little bit of brown sugar and then I got some vinegar, right? So for all my homies out there that we lost, man, I'm just pouring out a little bit for you. Now we got some salt, a little pinch of salt. And then you wanna make sure that these ingredients are in there first because you wanna bring this up to a boil, right? So when it comes up to a boil, now you're gonna add the rest of your ingredients. So I'm adding in some ketchup, and then we're going in with a little bit of hot sauce. I got Texas Pete. You can use whatever hot sauce that you like. Going in with a little bit of garlic powder and some onion powder. Then the ingredients will be in the description box below also. And we got some crushed black pepper. So you can't go wrong with pepper, right? And then lastly, we got some chili flakes. So we got to give it a little bit of, you know, kick. Now we're going to give this bad boy a stir. And then we're going to cook this for 15 minutes and then we're going to let this cool. So we're going to place it in the fridge while we let this bad boy smoke up. So what I'm looking for again is color and then I'm going to have a 50-50 blend of apple cider vinegar and water. So we want to keep this meat moist during the smoking process and I'm going to spritz this every 45 minutes so we make sure that you know our meat's not drying out but we're also creating that part during the first four hours, right? So we can let that part set in, but not let that meat dry out. All right, so we're about at hour number three, so we're gonna go ahead and check on this thing and see how it's coming out. Look at that right there. Oh yeah. So we'll keep spritzing this bad boy. And then we'll wrap it once it gets about 150. So we're looking at about like 130 or so. But again, you want to keep that thing moist, right? You don't want it to dry out on you. You in the game. 
see that color right there? That's exactly what you want right there. However, hey, we ain't looking, right? We need to stop looking. We're going to let this thing finish cooking. Now we're at about hour number four, and we're about at 150 degrees. And you can see that color. That's the color that I was talking about. The bark has now officially set in, and we're going to take this bad boy, and we're going to wrap this thing. So what I'm doing is I'm going to wrap it in butcher paper because I want a crunchy bark. Now you can use foil, but your bark won't be, you know, crunchy, right? So now we're going to let this bad boy cook. And now at about 12 hours coming in because my temperature is about right. Now what I'm doing here is, is checking the temp in three different areas because I don't want to overcook it. But at the same time, I'm looking for tenderness. Now that thing is going in like butter, cutting like butter. And as you can see, it's at that 205, right? So I'm bringing that bad boy out. We let that thing rest for an hour. And then as I turn this thing over, look at that bark right there. Absolutely perfection. Now, when you pull this bone out, you know you got some tender meat. If you don't have any meat, sticking to the inside of that bone and as you can see that bone right there is absolutely clean right look at that right there clean bone you know you got some tender pork right so as you can see here on the left side up the left i bought some claws as i said i was going to shred this pork but when i started pulling at this pork it was so tender man i didn't even really have to pull at it because that thing was so tender and you can see the juices right there that thing is tender. Look at that bark. You are in the game. So now we're going to be making, you know, just kind of like a little Carolina style barbecue with a Texas little twist on it. It's pulled pork. I'm going to chop this bad boy up. But look at that bark right there. Right? You see that? And that smoke ring. I'm going to chop this bad boy up because that's what we do here in Carolina. And then, you know, it's just like a magician. Bam, look at that. Now I got my Carolina vinegar based barbecue sauce and then we're gonna pour that in that bowl right there. And then your guests can definitely enjoy it. Make sure that you hit it with a little bit of your barbecue rub. All right, so there you have it. You got your pulled pork and that Carolina barbecue sauce. Look at that right there. And then you already know what I got to do. I got to get me a couple pieces, right? Because we that pit, man. Look at that. And then that bark on that right there. Yes, sir. Ooh, wait. Man, that's absolutely fantastic. Let me give me another piece of that. Man, that's absolutely delicious. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and for the people that's been rolling me for a while you already know what i'm about to do i'm about to smash into this pool port and we'll see you guys later peace